It's here in Auckland that you can hold the last living dinosaur, whose last relative died 60 million years ago. Okay to touch it? The Tuatara. I mean, spiny ridgeback. These guys aren't actually a lizard, so they're different. The top jawbone has two sets of teeth and the bottom is one. How long do they live? So Tuatara can live over 150 years. 150 years? Yeah. No one's really sure. They were around when the dinosaurs were around. So when they hatch out of the egg, they have a third eye on the top. Wow, so that's something that we all have a third eye too, right? Yeah. Something that will never be seen again in the world if we get lost. Until about 200 years ago, New Zealand had no predators at all. Birds didn't even need to fly. Predators have been brought in. Yeah, we have a lot of mammalian predators, unfortunately, that have wreaked havoc. Now, not these predators, or these, which you can see here in the most beautiful habitats. Tapping into the Auckland Zoo. The Auckland Zoo is using their backbone to reach out to the world in conservation. These are all native New Zealand yep. plants. Here we are in Te Wanui. It's 100% New Zealand plants that are living and thriving in this environment. We want to ensure that they thrive and survive into the future. As well as the indigenous animals they're breeding here. This is Akia? Yes, that's right. The only alpine parrot in the world. Um, he's everyone's best friend if you have some food. So a lot of the species that we breed here actually go on to offshore islands. And when they mature, they're brought back to predator-controlled areas on the mainland. So that they're big enough then to fight off the likes of rats and... There's no rats in New Zealand. No. I, didn't, I didn't see any. <laughs> and because of the Auckland Zoo's efforts, the Kiwi's national bird, the kiwi, has a future. Guest egg. <gasps> and you can Look. see the size of it. It's like a dinosaur egg. <laughs> it's like giving birth to a 35-pound baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So the chick is... 18 days old today. With feathers like fur and whiskers like cats. They're called an honorary mammal. <laughs> and kiwi is the sound they make. And the Auckland Zoo even breeds big bugs that nurture the forest, like the giant wetapunga. That is huge. Yeah, or a giant wetter. It, it looks like a lobster, actually. <laughs> it does a little bit. They live way up high on the tops of the trees and drop lots of poo around, and that's really good for the health of the forest. And um, they also pollinate flowers as they walk through and, and feed on them. Well, Ben, I can tell you really love them because you have one on your leg. I, I have a tattoo of one on my leg. <laughs> Zoos internationally are actually the third largest funder of conservation efforts around the world. We've got a really strong family of passionate people that are working to make a better future for wildlife. I think the Kiwi deserve tapping in. I'm tapping in.